crafty friends, this is Jenny from CraftTestGummies.com and today we're going to have a little overview and demonstration on the Nuvo Crystal Drops. Um, these are from Tonic Studios and we've got Jewel Drops and we also have what they call Crystal Drops and I'm going to kind of review them both at the same time because it's the same product, but there are different formulations. Just, just so you know, there are glitter drops, which of course are glittery. There are what they call the crystal drops, which are opaque and uh, look kind of like enamel dots when they're dry. There are what they call the translucent drops, and these are called jewel drops. And you notice they have a white label that'll help you um, see that they're different. And they do dry translucent or, um, you know, kind of uh, clear and see-through. And then there are the metallic drops. And the metallic drops, uh, for the best way of describing them, they're like pearl pens. They really do have kind of an iridescent pearly sheen to them. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is that when you purchase them, they do not have this color indicator on the top. I actually put little swatches on all of my product just because that way if I've stored it in a drawer I can see very quickly exactly what the color and finish looks like. Um, but this does not come this way. Now these containers uh, hold, let's see, it's one fluid ounce. It has the pretty little jewel top to it and when you unscrew it, it's ready to go. You don't have to remove anything. Um, it has this kind of fun nozzle to it. Let me show you. So it has kind of a fine point and a see-through nozzle so you can see what's going on. I think it's pretty easy to control. The tube is a nice size so you can hold it comfortably in your hand and you get a good amount for the price. Uh, these are very economically priced and I'll put an MSRP at the bottom of the screen for you. They also sell these in the Grande formulas so that if you know you're going to use a lot of white or pearl, uh, you can actually buy them in the larger sizes. So now let me show you how uh, you do apply it to the paper. So these are a nice, thick, viscous enamel product. And by the way, I don't mean enamel like uh, it's a resin. It really is an acrylic product and it gives you the look of enamel. And so to apply it, you just put it straight up and down. It's kind of hard to see because the, the container's in the way, but that lets you know. I am going directly up and directly down to dispense. And I'm not touching the tip to the paper. And while they may have a little nipple on top while they're wet, they dome out quickly and dry completely rounded. Now they do recommend that you give these 24 hours to dry. These have been drying for about four hours and they are really, you know, they're, they're dry enough to touch. I wouldn't necessarily put them through the mail quite yet or put them in a book, but um, it, you're not going to smudge them after two to three hours. Again, this will depend on where you live. But I just wanted to show you kind of the color swatching. So these would be the translucent ones. And these are called Jewel Drops. Again, they have the white label on them, so you know them uh, apart. And they almost look like little watercolor drops. They're beautiful. Then you've got the metallics, and these have, again, that traditional kind of pearl color to them. Here we've got the glitter, and I decided to make the glitter ones a little bit bigger so that you could see the glitter inside. Um, and really it doesn't even show up as well on camera as it does in real life. And again, the bigger the glitter drop, kind of the more you can see it. Now there are some other formulas. Now this one here that's kind of this matte, frosty color. This one is called, this one is called Glitter Accents. The container is a little bit different, but it looks more like a matte glitter snowflakey. And then the one next to it here, this is called Crystal Glaze. And uh, it, again, is not quite as shiny as the other ones. I'll show you um, some different samples as well. And then here are all of the colors that I received in the crystal drops. And as you can see, they do, they're very shiny. They dome beautifully. I'm gonna turn the paper so you can see the dimension on them. You do get really nice height and doming. And the colors are very vibrant. Now, before we get to some of the other swatches, I just want to point out that these are not a true enamel. They are 
like a dried paint because they are an acrylic slash latex product, which means that they'll always be a little soft. That one is um, obviously very soft because it's not completely dry yet, but it will hold an indentation of a fingernail. So let me show you some other samples. All right, so here are some of our drops on a pattern paper. I wanted you to specifically be able to see how opaque they are and how they work on a pattern paper. Here you've got the pearl. It is indeed completely opaque. You've got the glitter, which is a translucent glitter. So that's an important thing to know that in order for let the glitter particles to really show through, the medium itself is translucent. So you will see a little bit of what's happening underneath. Then you've got the jewel drops and the jewel drops are indeed completely translucent. And you will be able to see the pattern of the paper underneath. Then here are the crystal drops. They are completely opaque and super shiny. Now, I just wanted to try drawing with them and um, it, it worked out okay. You can make chevrons and lines. Um, I will say though, I did notice some cracking and this is gonna be evident in some other samples I show you. So I'm not sure if it just in my room is a little warm or why, but you will notice a few things that have cracked. So now let's take a look at how they show up on black paper. And I think this is really how you can tell when something really uh, sparkles and shines. Notice that the green shows up really, really beautiful and opaque. The blue glitter is fantastic. The translucent ones kind of lose their, their mojo on a dark, dark surface because they are translucent. But the glitter, even though it has a translucent base, still show up absolutely beautifully. Also in this sample, I show you how small I was able to get my crystal drops. Um, it's important to know that sometimes when a product has especially glitter particles in it like these do, these are, I mean, these are really small, um, I could still get them to detach and be small and then also I got good doming with them. And I'll just show you here on the side how that works. These have dried for about three days, by the way. Now, back to that denting thing, because they are not actual enamel, if you press a fingernail into it, you will get some denting or compression. Um, so just be aware that, you know, if you're gonna send it through the mail, you may wanna put a little bit of bubble wrap on top of it. And, um, you know, if you're gonna put it in a scrapbook, maybe put it behind uh, plastic so that it doesn't, you know, indent or flatten out. And here I just did some different studies on recycled cardboard because I wanted to see how it worked when I bent it and flexed it. Uh, here again, we've got pearl, blue glitter, orange translucent, and then that lime uh, regular gloss. Here again is another sample of the glitter accents. So you can see how chunky. It's harder to get a nice dome on those because it is so chunky. So I would use this more like a, a spackle or a paste, maybe even through stencils, um, because you're not gonna get a nice fine line. It's so packed with glitter. Here, however, I just wanted to show you the difference. This is the glitter uh, clear. It looks like this, do, 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 do. Here's your glitter. And the glitter drops that are called White Blizzard, you can see actually have kind of a green metallic in them. So this is an important thing to know too. Your glitter accents is basically white glitter particles suspended in a white media, whereas the glitter drops are going to be green type of metallic inside the clear media. And then here is just the plain clear jewel drops, the absolutely clear. So you can see the difference. Now, here's another important thing to notice. Crystal drops, notice dry, clear, super shiny, but the crystal glaze is a little more matte. To me, it almost is like maybe an eggshell finish or a satin finish. Now, they, it, well, it domes. I could get it to dome and round out. It's not as high as the other product, but you should know it's not going to be as super shiny. Now, just for fun, I did try some layering. You can put <laughs> one product inside or on top of another. This kind of made a little fried egg look and also you can make eyeballs with it as I did over here. And this is that uh, white color with the enamel, it's the gloss. 
and then just a black drop on top. So it's good for making uh, eyeballs and kind of silly things like that. You can also mix the colors a little bit and get these kind of chunky dimensional textures to them. I put different colors down here and then raked it through with a fork to blend them slightly. Um, and it stays really nice and raised. It's a beautiful glossy texture. Now also just for fun, I decided to try it on a piece of fabric. I thought maybe on a little ribbon it'd be pretty. They all held up pretty well. Um, there's a little tiny bit of cracking in the translucent one, but um, absolutely usable for fabric. I would not necessarily wash it, but you can go ahead and use it on fabric. Now, of course, these things are actually made to use on a non-porous surface, uh, like glass or tile, so that then you can peel them off. So just for fun, I used one of my stamping up cases, and I went ahead and just put the product right here on top. I actually used three different ones, translucent, glitter, and the metallic. And then later on, I'm able to pick it up and peel it off and then use it on something else. Now you may notice there are some cracks. Do you see in that translucent? There is a little bit of cracking there. And if you wanna like buy, you know, make these ahead of time and then stick them on later, peel them off and let them dry front and back for another day before you store them so they don't wanna to stick to each other so much. But for me, this is a great way of making an accent um, that I might not have ordinarily made because I've got banned handwriting, so I, I don't freehand things well, but I can certainly trace some of my stamps and then you know make little embellishments like this. I also wanted to show you I did some samples on vellum, and again, we've got the metallic pearl, the purple glitter, purple translucent, uh, and then a chocolate brown. Here's a couple more eyeballs I made. You can also do some fun things where you marble uh, and drag a tool through to make hearts or some little braids. Um, you will notice that there is a little bit of warping on the vellum. So when I put it down, it was fine, but then as it dried, it kind of pulled up and crinkled a little bit. So you may want to make these on plastic ahead of time and then apply them to the vellum afterwards. But here again, too, you can see a little bit of cracking in this uh, sample, and I think, no, that's it. There's just a little bit of cracking in this one, and a little bit maybe in this very small one that I made. So lastly, I just want to go back to the sample again, because I have heard other people complaining of cracking. Uh, I see some definite crackling, like, on top of, on the samples that I made. So it might be hard to see, but even just on top of the little, um, caps here, there is some crackling, but I used this really big, big dot right here and it didn't crack. So I haven't been able to figure out what may or may not make it so crack. So let's just talk a second about the cracking because I noticed that here on the cap where I put my little color indicator, this is cracking and I can't really explain why some of them crack and some of them don't, even among the gloss. Some of them are, and some of them aren't. So I don't, I don't know what the magic is with that, other than um, if you wanna make sure it doesn't crack, definitely make them on a plastic or glass surface and then peel them off and use them. That way you won't ruin a project by applying it directly onto your surface and then be disappointed. But as you can see, I made a very, very large dot here and it didn't crack at all. So why would, oh, say this one on cardboard that's huge, not crack, whereas, you know, this little squiggle on vellum does? I'm not sure. I don't have an answer for that. All right, I just want to flip through a few more samples just to show you how I've used the Nouveau Crystal Drops and Jewel Drops in my projects. So here I went ahead and I used a wash of the mousse, which is an upcoming review. And then I used um, some of the crystal drops on the button. Notice again, there is a little bit of cracking in the Nouveau drops. Here, they are just used as kind of those enamel dots. And really, for enamel dots, these things are fantastic. Um, in both of these samples, I just used them as round dots and really got great results. There was one little one that cracked over here, but for the most part, for enamel dot usage, they are not going to crack. It's when you apply it really thick or in kind of weird shapes that you might have a problem. 
So here I used it on the fabric. Here is a larger heart shape. Again, a little bit of cracking there. And I used the enamel dot or the Nouveau Crystal Dot Drops here on the wing of the dove to kind of bring it out. And again, it got uh, a little, it cracked a little bit. So you might want to be aware that um, it is prone to that and maybe use it purposefully, um, uh, you know, so that you get that kind of crackle texture. And just a few more drops here. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this review and demo of the Nuvo Crystal and Jewel Drops. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and as always, have a crafty day.